Hi guys, welcome to my snake nook. I'm Vanny, and today I'm going to talk to you about why I keep tub setups as vivariums for my snakes. So you may be wondering if you don't already keep your snakes in a tub setup, why would you want to do that? Well, in my case, it works out. I live in Texas. Well, and part of living in Texas, especially in the South Central area, is that the atmosphere is very humid. And that is helpful when keeping these kinds of snakes that I have, such as ball pythons and boa constrictors, because they do benefit from the natural humidity that occurs in this part of Texas. And having tub setups works really great for sheds. Both species of snakes that I keep, ball pythons and boas, shed in one piece. These smaller pieces belong to my boas and the larger ones are my ball python sheds. And they just work out. The tub setups help to keep the humidity and the sheds are complete. Another reason for using tub setups is that it is very easy to spot the mess. This is Sandstorm's enclosure and I'm going to go ahead and clean it out. It doesn't take that long and here is Sandstorm. Um, so she was awakened in order for me to do this but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cleaning here. And in the meantime Sandstorm can wait for me in a little corner somewhere while I clean up her home. I'm using a spray bottle um, to spray the corner that was soiled with water. I will clean out her enclosure using just paper towels and I'm going to wipe down her enclosure, trash everything in this bag. And that actually goes by pretty quickly. Both my husband and I work a full-time job and when we do this, it's first thing in the morning before we get ready for work. So we check in on all of the snakes and it has to be a quick process. Um, because we don't have an hour, two hours worth of time to invest in cleaning and checking. Uh, for example, if I were to keep a different type of substrate, checking for the mess to do spot cleaning. So this just works out very well for us. So Here's Sandstormy waiting to go back into her vivarium. But I'm going to go ahead and keep her out a little longer now that she's awake. And I'm going to check in on another one of the boas to take downstairs with us. So this is what the enclosure looks like clean, the vivarium. The cockatiels are relentless today. They have decided to grace us with their beautiful voices. And so here is Sandstormy all ready to go back into her clean tub setup. However, I think I'm going to take her downstairs to the cardboard box activity station so that she can get a little bit of exercise. And I may just take one of the other boas with her so that they can both explore together. I hope that the idea of using a tub setup as a vivarium for your snake has appealed to you. They may not always look great because of the plastic but you can certainly make it work and make them beautiful on the inside. I'm still working on making my snakes vivariums look better. I'm going to continue to add clutter using artificial plants and other things so I will update you on that as well. Thank you so much for watching and staying with me and Sandstorm and Hurricane to the end of this video. Y'all have a good one. Bye.